Okay, so hi guys. So I believe that this is a new week for my everyday makeup series. So um, I wanted to tell you about my look for today. I might change it. That's why I'm doing it now. I just got home from work, so now I'm going to get ready to see my boyfriend. Um, but I prime my face with the Smashbox More Than Primer Salicylic Acid Acne Control Primer. I really have been liking it, so I used it again today. Then, of course, I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 5 and mixed that with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and worked that in with a beauty blender. Then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm really out of breath <laughs> in light warm and my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. Then, of course, I set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then of course I primed my eyes with my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And then today I used the Urban Decay Naked Palette for my look today. I just, I've been like actually not been too overwhelmed about my eyeshadows. I've just been like really trying to utilize a lot of um, all of my palettes. So I went in with the colors um, Sidecar and Sin on the lid just to give it a little bit more uh, shimmer on the lid. Then I went in with Naked on the crease and then blended in Buck to deepen up the crease. And then I went in with um, Hustle on, I think it was Hustle. Pretty sure it was Hustle on the outer corners. And then I, of course, I did Virgin on the brow bone. And then I did a pop of Sidecar, I believe, on the inner corners. Then I um, lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Mad Max Brown Tattoo Liner. Then of course I did the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara on the top and the MAC Giga Black Lash on the bottom. Then of course I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose under my eyes. And then of course I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then of course I contoured today with the Marc Jacobs Insta Mark Dreamer Filter with the Dark darker shade and then baked the contour with the lighter shade. Then for highlight today I used that beautiful Cover FX Illuminator in Moonlight because I really wanted to use it again today. Then for blush I went in with Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. Then of course I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Brow Gel. Then of course I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then for lips today I went in with ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Midi. And that's it. Bye! Okay, so I just wanted to show you my second look for today. I did um, have time to actually go in and change my makeup. I've been really in a huge colorful kick lately and I really just want to utilize a lot of my colorful shadows like yesterday and today like before like on Thursday I was planning on using a green shadow with Makeup Geek shadows but then I just decided to do pink shadows all over my eye just because I wanted to use more of the Makeup Geek shadows that I don't get to use as often like the Cinderella and Cupcake shades which you saw in in my last lookbook when I wore the Doctor Who shirt, but I'm basically wearing the same shirt as last week that I um, started with. Um, I have three of these shirts though in three different colors and it says Armani on the side. So this one is blue and I also have a black one and a white one, so I did wear the black one in like the first clip of the last series because I usually start the series on a Saturday and work them into Friday and then post them by Sunday so you can get like it's still a full week but it's not like a um actual like Monday through Wednesday Monday through Sunday it's Saturday through Friday so I can post them on Sundays and on a Sunday obviously is the start of a new week so it looks like I'm I'm doing them Monday through Sunday but whatever if I was if I wasn't posting them on Sundays and you wouldn't see them on Sunday and I couldn't like do another makeup look and post that in the same video. So anyway, so all the face makeup is the same but I did change my eyeshadow like I said. Um, so I wanted to use ColourPop shadows today obviously. Um, so I used Get Lucky on the lid. Then I also used a MAC shadow in my look today because I haven't used the, the um, that blue shade that I had gotten in like maybe a month or so and I was like you know I should need to use this so I wanted to use it as a base for my ColourPop shadow so I used the MAC Aquadisiac um, single shadow. It is so pretty and it added like just the right amount of turquoise for the ColourPop shadow that I wanted to use. So of course I went in with ColourPop's Ibiza to of course 
give it more like glittery effect and dimension and I'm actually proud of myself because I actually hit pan on it today. Um, I can see a little bit of the pan from that ColourPop shadow. I know there's not that much uh, pigment in the actual pan but it's a five dollar shadow so I, I don't expect to get too much and plus they're only supposed to last a year so you want to use your ColourPop shadows up. So I'm almost, I can't believe I hit pan on it on it. I might have to replace it in like a month or two or something but I knew this was going to be the color I would use the most in the summertime and I wanted to get obviously the most use out of it in the summertime. So anyway, um, then I went in with Makeup Geeks Vanilla Bean on the brow bone and then I went in with ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money on the inner corners. I love using this as an inner corner highlight rather than Shimma Shimma because this has a little bit more gold in it and Shimma Shimma is more like silverly not really silver, silvery, but more like a um, like light gold shade, I guess. It doesn't really have gold in it. I forgot how to describe it. It's like a champagne, um, but it doesn't have as much gold in it, so I like using this for ColourPop shadows. Then um, I lined my eyes with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Um, I've been liking to use this because I really like how it and I think it might be my favorite black liner actually now over Night Owl because I think it makes a more defined line. With Night Owl, like yesterday or the day before, I was struggling a little bit. But I'm going to use it at some point. I've just been wanting to use Trooper lately. I've been just on a, a Kat Von D liner kick today and yesterday. Then, of course, um, I just fixed my mascara and my concealer. It's all the same as before. And the blush is also the same. And I also touched up my highlight. I just changed lip color. When I usually um, change my look for like after work, I keep on the same face makeup. Obviously, I'm not going to take off my face makeup. I just change the eyeshadow and the lip color. So I just put on Anastasia's lip gloss in Gilded. And I can't believe how much I really did need a gold lip gloss. Like, it was about time that I actually finally bought one. So I really love this color. So I just paired it with this. And I think it looks really pretty. If it looks like the wrong gold, let me know. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. So this is my go-to everyday natural look for my eyes. I did shoot a tutorial on it today, so that should be up in like two days, So, but I'm going to tell you what I used, obviously. So, sorry, I have an itch on my leg. So I primed my face with these Matchbox Primer Water. I'm trying to use it up, but also I freaking love it, but I've been, I have been I love how it made the foundation look today. Um, then of I went in with the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation in the color Ivory. I'm also trying to use that up as well because I feel like I'm almost done with it. Um, so, but I also have been wanting to use I've been wanting to use it a lot more. So I used that today. Then, um, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I primed my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And then today I used all Makeup Geek shadows on my eyes. This is my go-to look. Um, so I used Beaches and Cream on the lid and also all over the crease. Um, to act as a base for the crease like I always do. Then I went in with creme brulee on the, on the crease and then I darkened up the crease with the color latte and then I just lightly um, worked in mocha on the outer corners and I love how it turned out. Then of course I put vanilla bean on the brow bone and then shimma shimma on the inner corners. Then um, I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Mad Max Brown then I, um, uh, why can't I talk? Did mascara on the top lashes with the, of course, the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara and the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom. And then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose under my eyes. Then, of course, I set that with the Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder. Then, of course, I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter the dark the darker shade to contour and the lighter shade to bake the contour then i highlighted today with the kevin aquan celestial powder in starlight i just really wanted to use it again and i friggin love it um and then i've been going in with my obsession for my uh blush and that is the becca mineral blush in wild honey then of course i went over everything with the hourglass ambient lighting powder and luminous light then i filled in my brows with the chanel brow pencil in 
uh, brown natural and then of course I set that with the Anastasia clear brow gel I see that there's like a gap here but whatever um, and then I just set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, like I always do. And then for my lips today, I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. And that has been my go-to lip for this natural look. And that's it. Bye! Okay, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. If I suddenly stop the video, it's because I'm on hold with Sephora customer service because I missed out on the Epic Rewards and I'm really Thank pissed you off. For All representatives are currently assisting other customers. Please remain on the line for the next available Okay, so it's telling me I have to wait. I'm going to work in like 10 minutes though. Um, I'm just taking like 10 minutes to try and call them. Like I actually have to get ready in about 5 minutes. But anyway, so I prime my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 5 and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. Then, of course, I set... Um, Concealed and highlight with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light Vanilla and the MAC Prep Move Highlight Radiant Rose. Thank you then, for holding. All representatives are currently Then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then, of course, I primed my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Then today I decided to use ColourPop and Makeup Geek Shadows. I was just going to use Makeup Geek Shadows in the crease, but then I decided to use ColourPop ones and some Makeup Geek Shadows, so... And I think it looks really, really good. So I really wanted to use sequin again. So I used sequin on the lid from ColourPop and I love it. Then in the crease, I used Beaches and Cream like usual. Then I went in with Desert by ColourPop on the crease. And then I used Creme Brulee to deepen up the crease a little bit more. And then I deepened up the actual crease with the color Frappe. And then on the outer corners, I went in with On the Rocks from ColourPop. And then on the brow bone, I went in with Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek. And then on the inner corners, I went in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Wisp. And I think it looks so pretty. I just wanted it to be a little bit more gold today rather than like a light, like yellow gold. So I think this looks so good on the outer corners too. So I, I mean inner corners, so I really have to use it more. Then, of course, I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Then, of course, I went in with the Georgia Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara on the top and the MAC Thank Kick of Black Lash holding. on the bottom. And then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light Vanilla and the MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. And then I set that with the Warmer Sea Secret Brightening Powder. Then, of course, I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instant Mark Dreamer Filter with the Light Shade and then baked it with the Lighter Shade with the dark shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. Then I highlighted today with Becca Shimmy Sam Perfector Pressed and Champagne Pop. I just really wanted to use it today. Then I went in with an oldie but a goodie blush and I went in with Benefits Box, Bl Box Blush in Rockateur and I just love how it looks with this. I just really wanted to use it again to bring it out. And also I was like watching an old Jaclyn Hill video of like a makeup challenge and I was like, you know, I'm going to use that because I used it in the video. And then of course I went over everything with the Hourglass Women's Slate Powder and then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and set that with the Anastasia Brow Gel. Then of course I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and then I went in with, um, I actually used a lip liner today and I used the um, NYX Lip Liner in Rose and it, it's actually like an exact match for this lip color and then I used the Lime Crime Unicorn Lipstick in Clueless and I just love how it looks with this look and I love the color so that's it, bye. Oh and also the reason why I missed out on the Epic Rewards, I just want to touch on this before I actually go is because every time I tried to click on the epic rewards it wouldn't redirect me to the other page it was so Welcome freaking weird world. hey guys so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup looks for today sorry I'm just like putting some crap away right now that just like won't stay in the bag um but I am going out for my birthday with my best friend I'm finally getting to see her um, to go out because we haven't been able to see each other since she has gotten back from California because she's been like back and forth from California and here like the whole summer because she's been building a house for her mom there so she keeps on like you know coming here like occasionally so um, I was able to see her a lot more this last month than I have like any month out of this year because we spent like she was here for like two or three weeks, so we spent like at least three times a week together. Um, but since she came back this past like couple weeks, we haven't been able to see each other. And like she has asked me to hang out, but like um, we keep on like having other plans or she's not free when I'm free. So 
um, yeah, at least we're finally seeing each other today. But the thing that sucks is that she's going away tomorrow and she's going to be gone for a month again. And it's just like, it sucks because it's like, girl, you need to be here. Like, you know, it's just, it's annoying. But, you know, she's, she's doing other things now and she's going to move in about three years. So at least like after she's done like with Georgia, she's going to Georgia tomorrow, that hopefully like we'll be able to hang out a lot more. But of course, then like, you know, the fall comes, but it's just like we didn't really get to do like half the things we got, we wanted to do last summer because we had like a summer bucket list and we were going to do all of these things. And I think we only did like one of them because she ended up being in California a lot again. So I'm really hoping that we just get to do like other things that we really want to do when she comes back. So anyway, so she's taking me out to Cheesecake Factory. So I primed my face with the Smashbox More Than Primer uh, foundation primer, the Acne Control, um, salicylic acid one. I've been really liking that one, so I primed my face with that. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Of course, I was going to use that to go out for my birthday. It's my favorite one. And then, of course, I mixed that with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. Then I, um, have been using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer again. I did use it yesterday that I showed you yesterday and I also used it today so I used that to conceal and highlight and I also used my MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose like I always do. Then of course I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then of course I primed my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and then set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, then for the eyes today I actually used a lot of shadows. Um, I really have been trying to layer shadows more because I find that that makes them like blend a lot better. So I used um, eye candy from ColourPop on the, the lid, the Super Shock eyeshadow on the lid. Um, on the crease, of course, as a base, I used Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek like I always do. Then um, I went in with the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette Shadow in Bubblegum um, as a more of like a blending base shade again. Then I decided to make the crease a little bit more shimmery and satiny, so I went in with Max uh, eyeshadow in Swish. I haven't used that in a while either. I was like, you know, I should use these Max shadows more because they look so pretty. It's like a glittery kind of look, but it looks more satin, and that's why I really like it. So I used that, and then just to darken up the crease a tad bit more with a little bit more pink, I went in with uh. The Urban Decay Electro Palette with the color Savage, and I just brushed that in the crease a little bit more to make it a little bit more pink. And then I just, of course, blended it out again with bubble gum. And then um, on the brow bone, I went in with Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean. And then on the inner corners, I used ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Monster. I love using this color as an inner corner highlight when I wear pink eyeshadow because um, it has like this beautiful like dual chrome like pink green kind of to it and it looks so pretty as an inner corner highlight so I love it. Then I went in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper like I've been saying I've been having an obsession with that with the Kat Von D liners lately. I think they're amazing so I've just I've been using those a lot more now um, just throughout this week. Um, then I went in with Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara on the top, like I always do, and the MAC Giga Black Lash on the bottom. Then, of course, um, I concealed and highlight highlighted with the NARS Radiant Creaming Concealer under my eyes, and the MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. And then, of course, I set everything with the Laura Mercier Tran uh, Secret Brightening Powder. Then, of course, I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter, and then I baked the contour with the lighter shade. Then um, I highlighted today with the Cover FX Illuminator in Moonlight. I really wanted to use it today because I feel like it gives off, like, it's not gold and it's not white. It kind of gives off just this beautiful highlighted look. Like, it doesn't look too gold that I feel like it's not wearable with, like, a pink look. That I just, I love it. So I'm really glad I decided to use that instead. It's a very neutral highlight that goes with absolutely everything. And then, um... For blush today, I used the Too Faced Love Flush 16 Hour Blush in Justify My Love. I really wanted to use it again, so I used it today. Um, and then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. 
Then of course I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil in Brown Natural and then set my brows with the Anastasia Brow Gel. Then of course I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then for my lips today, of course I went in with Contessa Fluorescent by Lime Crime, but then I went over it with a different lipstick to really make it a really true Barbie pink. So I went over it with the... Uh, Lime Crime Lipstick in Gerardium rather than Baby Pink. And I think, I'm um, not Baby Pink, Great Pink Planet. And it looks so good. But it keeps on like making this line here when I'm talking. But whatever, it's going to wear off anyway when I start eating. So that's it. Oh, and I also lined my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in Rose. Like I've been getting into like lining my lips again. So I did line my lips and then put on Contessa Fluorescent and then put on Gerardium on the top. So that's it. Okay, so hi. So I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. Um, I literally kept on the same look that I did for work because I thought I was going to have more time to actually change and do my makeup because usually I'm done by like 3.30s on... 3.30s. Usually done by 3.30 on Wednesdays, but... Um, sorry, my like skin is so itchy lately. Like, I don't know what the hell this is on my arm, but like I keep on getting these spots and they keep on getting itchy, so... I probably have to go back to the doctor about that. But anyway, we're going over my friend's house, me and my boyfriend, um, my best friend's house, because she's not leaving until Thursday, which is tomorrow. But we're going over her house today. So, um, yeah, so I primed my face with the Smashbox More Than Primer Salicylic Acid Foundation Primer. No, actually with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. My mistake. Then I went in with the Dior Hour... Air Flash Spray Foundation in the color Ivory because my Beauty Blender was dirty and I didn't have time to clean it and like wait for it to be a little bit less uh, wet. So I just went with the Dior Foundation and plus I kind of wanted to use it today anyway. And then I mixed that of course with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. Then um, I concealed and highlighted today with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. Then, of course, I set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I went in, of course, with my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base for the primer. And then, of course, I set that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then today, I used all Makeup Geek shadows. I know. I just can't seem to shy away from them recently, and I just don't really care about using other brands. I just love them. So, um, I went in with Cosmopolitan on the lid. Then I did about four colors on the crease. I did Beaches and Cream, of course, for the base. Then I did um, Peach Smoothie to make it a little bit more orange. Then I went with Creme Brulee to be the actual crease color. And then I darkened up the crease with uh, Frappe and Cocoa Bear because I really wanted to use Cocoa Bear today. Um, then I went in on the outer corners with Mocha and Latte. I just love Mocha. It's one of my favorite outer corner colors outer corner colors to use. I probably should start smudging it out on my lower lash line. I am going to make a Morphe order soon and, and get like a couple of brushes from Morphe because I can't believe how cheap their brushes, their, brushes, their brushes are. They're like $10 a piece. That's like so good for such great brushes. So I'm definitely going to get like a couple of those. Then um, I went in on the brow bone, of course, with Vanilla Bean. And then of course on the inner corners with Shima Shima because those are my favorites. Um, then I went in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. I've just been loving the Kat Von D liner, so that's what I've been using lately. Then um, I, of course, did the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara on the top and the MAC Extended Play Kick a Black Lash on the bottom. Then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and the MAC Prep and Primary Rose under my eyes. And then, of course, I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder like I always do. Then I've just been obsessed with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter, so I've just been using that to contour um, with the darker shade and then baked the contour with the lighter shade. Then um, for highlight today, I went in with Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal because I really wanted to use it today. I just love it. Um, then for blush day, I didn't use Wild Honey or Songbird, even though those would have been perfect for this look. I went in with NARS's uh, Amour Blush instead because I really have only used it like twice and I really like using it very subtly because it gives like such a pretty flush of like reddish pinkish color so that's what I used instead. Then of course I went over everything with the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder in Luminous Light. Then um, 
I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil in Brown Natural, and then I, of course I set that with the Anastasia Brow Gel. Um, then of course I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, and then on my lips I'm wearing the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick in Serenity. I was thinking about switching it to the Kat Von D Lipstick in Lolita, but I'm planning on wearing that tomorrow anyway. And this is going to stay on longer, so, and I'm going to be eating, so I just figured just to wear this instead. I think my boyfriend is not here yet. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Um, if I seem a little down, it's just something sucky happened, but um, I'm just going to tell you. But I'm not going to be up right now, so I'm sorry. Um, so today I... Um, prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in uh, the color 5 and then mixed that with the cover of X Custom Cover Drops in N10. Then um, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and my MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I primed my eyes with the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow mm -hmm. base and then I set it with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um, then I used the Kat Von D shade and light palette today because I, I wanted to use something other than my makeup geek shadows and I am bringing them to my friend's house but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm even going to my friend's house now because of the the current situation but um, I, I am going to bring them but I'm not even sure if I'm going to her house now but whatever so um of course, I started out with Makeup Geek's um, Beaches and Cream as a base to make everything blend easier. And then I used the palette and I used, um, I can never remember the names of these, so I always have to have the palette out so I can remember. Um, I used the color Latinus, Lat, Latest, this one right here, the um, peach color on my crease. Then I went in with, um, the this color what the heck was it I think it was yeah this color on my lid and this one was Samuel then I darkened up the crease with this red color and it's called Lucius and then um, for the brown bone highlight I went in with this color here and that one is called Succubus and then um, sorry just checking to see if he's here at all um, I'm not even sure if he's on the way or anything. My boyfriend. I'm supposed to go with my boyfriend to my friend's house. Um, and then I think that's all I used. Oh yeah, this. Hello, the outer corner. I used this one on the outer corner and this one is called Solace. Solace. Um, and then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D liner in Mad Max Brown. I did try to use a lot of Kat Von D products today because I'm trying to do like kind of that one brand thing. But... When I do this, then it makes me utilize a lot more of my products, so I tried to use a lot of Kat Von D today. Um, actually, I didn't use the Urban K Naked Skin Concealer, my mistake. I actually used the MAC Pro Longwear in NW10, I believe. I'm like the fairest shade. Um, it's like NW something. I know I think it's like 10, um, but I forgot that I used that today instead. Um, then, uh, of course, I... Did mascara on the top lashes with the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara and the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom. Then, um, of course, I concealed and highlighted with the MAC Pro Longwear in N110, NW10, or something like that. Then, um, and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose, and of course I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then, um, I did Shimma Shimma on the inner corners from Makeup Geek, because there's not a really good, um inner corner color in here. That's the thing that kind of sucks about this palette is that there's no like really like nice shimmery um, inner corner color. That's probably the only reason why like I don't love using this palette all the time because it doesn't have all the essentials for me. I mean I love it. I really really like this palette. I have been enjoying it more. Um, but I just find, <laughs> as you can see, I really don't have a lot of kick up from it because I, I don't use it as much as I thought I would. But I like it. I like using it. So I really wanted to use it today. Um, then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter. Then I highlighted with Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector Pressed in Champagne Pop. I just really wanted to use it today. I've been kind of on a Becca kick recently the past couple of days that I just really wanted to use the Becca highlighter instead. 
Then um, I went in with Kat Von D's uh, Everlasting Blush in Bellissima, of course, because I wanted to use Kat Von D stuff. And this is still on. Like, this has been on since, like, 10, 30, 11 this morning. And do you see how it's still, like, on my cheeks? I might re apply it really soon like after this video to see if I like want more pigment then of course I went over everything with the hourglass luminous light powder and then um I filled in my brows with the Chanel brow pencil in brown natural and then I set that with the Anastasia brow gel and then of course I set my face with the Urban Decay Naked Chill Makeup Setting Spray I don't know why I keep on saying naked skin um then I primed my lips with the NYX Lip primer. I don't know why I'm saying that. I usually never say it. And then I went over that with the Kat Von D Everlasting, the Kat Von D Studded Kiss lipstick in Lolita. And I actually really like this color. So this is like the third time I've worn it. So since blue complements orange, I wanted to do like a. I've been really into like um, reddish orange uh, looks lately. So that's what I've been doing recently. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to share with you my makeup look for today. I believe this is the last look in my um, video this week. Um, so I decided to do something very natural today. I'm not wearing any eyeliner because I am going to the beach with my friends soon. Um, so we're just going to go to my like local beach in my town because it's like, you know, it's very close and she has to drive to me. So it's just like really easy just to go there. And I actually like totally forgot about that beach and I was like yeah let's just go there because that's like really really close and I always forget about it so it's like so much better than going out to Jones Beach which is like 30 minutes away when like this is like 10 minutes away so today I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water I'm also trying to use it up but it is my favorite one so I really wanted to use it just to add up a a boost of hydration to my skin then today since I am going to the beach I went in with the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream in the color Fair um, if you guys don't know what that is, it has SPF 50 in it. It has a really long name, but it's, that's basically like a cosmetics, like liquid foundation. Like it's a, but it's a CC cream and it has so much SPF in it. So I thought it was perfect to wear to the beach, obviously, because it has SPF in it. Um, then I also layered it under my eyes. So then I had SPF under my eyes too. And then of course I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and then my MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. Then I set over everything with my Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Setting Powder. Then um, I primed my eyes with the Nard Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base like I always do. And then I went for a really natural look today. No eyeliner with the with my Makeup Geek Shadows. I mean, what else was I going to use? Uh, but I, I just love the Beaches and Cream and Creme Brulee in my crease to like for a natural look. Because I love wearing warm crease colors for that, especially matte ones. So those are my two favorite ones, so I really wanted to use them. So of course I just used Beaches and Cream and Creme Brulee in the crease and then just darkened it up a little bit with Frappe. And then I just went in with um, Latte on the outer corners. I didn't use Mocha today because that one's too dark to wear um, for a really natural look. So I just wanted to use Latte and it just looks so pretty. That one's a lot more natural. For the lid, um, I blended in Peach Smoothie and Beaches and Cream together on the lid um, because Peaches peaches and Cream, Peach Smoothie adds just like a really natural like pop of like a glow to your lid. So I just really wanted to use both of them together. And then I went in, of course, with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone and then also on the inner corners because I feel like a matte shadow just looks a lot more natural, just gives you a little bit more life too, rather than like a shimmery shadow for the beach. Like, do you really need that? You want your face to be glowing, not really like your eyes. And then um, for mascara, of course, I used the Georgia Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Mascara on the top and the MAC Extended to Play Kick Up Black Lash on the bottom. And then, of course, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose under my eyes. And then, of course, I set that with Laura Mercier, sorry, Secret Branding Powder. Then for... Um, my face, I didn't want to contour today even though it kind of looks like I did. I just wanted to bronze up my skin. Um, so I used the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay uh, Waterproof Bronzer. Hopefully it looks like I bronzed a little bit. It doesn't look weird or anything. I just feel like it looks like I contoured, but whatever. It's just like a slight one, I guess. Um, and then, of course, for highlighter, I used the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press in Champagne Pop. I've just been on a huge kick for Champagne Pop. I've just been using it so much. I just love it. And then um, 
before. My blush, I used Becca's Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. Of course, that's been like my go-to blush recently. I just love it. Um, then for, um, I'm just remembering I forgot to mention something in my beach video. I just made a beach video and I feel like it was the most disorganized thing ever. I'm probably going to have to make it again tonight because it was so terrible. Um, maybe if my mom's not working, then maybe I'll do it again. But I just forgot to mention this blush that I was wearing and I just feel like a dumbass, but whatever. Um, then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then um, I set everything with Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, which I love. And then, of course, I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil in Brown Natural and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set that. And then I just um, went over my lips with the Urban Decay Revolutionary Lip Gloss in Liar. I just wanted something a little bit glossy, and I think it looks so pretty. I just feel so, like, scatterbrained today just because of, like, you know, the events of yesterday I just feel like a little bit off. But hopefully, like, going to the beach will, like, relax me today. So, yeah, that's it. Bye.